All right, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the GTCA GR3 uh, race number three. And tonight we are at Watkins Glen. Uh, I'm, I'm Breaking Bad, your host, with my two co hosts, Ward and Stapler, tonight. Hey, guys. Hello. How's it going? How's it going? So we actually just finished this race yesterday, which was pretty intense in, in, in many parts of the track. Um, and we had a good turnout last night. I want to say we had 13 drivers in total. So, yep, 13. Yes. Yep. So a good turnout for the league. Um, we have one more race to go, which will happen next week. We'll be at Trial Mountain for that. Um, but, yeah, like last night, Watkins, fun track, like uh, Ward and I were saying earlier. Um, good turns, good elevation changes. You're... There's always something to look forward to. <laughs> Hope you don't go off track. Something to be aware of. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, so the the um, the group was called the GTCA. So I've been with the group for about three years now, just over three years. Um, so I'm going to hand this off to Ward to explain, you know, what the group's about, how it got founded, and such. So uh, take it away. Yeah. Uh, from what. What I know, I think it's been about four years that the group was founded, about four years ago. And Brad, our, our guy that uh, kind of heads things up most of the time, uh, he he's the one that, that kind of got it together along with the help of a few others. And I'm not entirely sure of, of who all that existed of. But uh, anyway, the, the whole purpose those guys wanted to do was they were doing the dailies and uh, getting in and... In, in, uh, groups together and doing stuff and trying to have fun and everybody hated the dailies because you know how if you're a Gran Turismo person you know sometimes you can get in dailies and people just all they want seem like they want to do is crash and, and beat and bang and and you know we're we're all interested in as in as being as clean as possible so the whole purpose of the group was to form a group that we could all get together and race have some fun uh, drive clean and uh, just you know, just have a good time. And so that's the gist of why and how and when the the uh, uh, the group was formed. And the GTCA, I don't know if you mentioned this part or not, it actually stands for Gran Turismo Canada America because we make up mainly of people from Canada and America, uh, United States of America, I should say, because there's lots of Americas. Mm -hmm. um, but... Um, uh, and then we've got uh, one guy from, from overseas. Uh, that I, I, I don't remember. Is he Scottish or Irish? I don't remember. Uh, I think he's a feisty Irish, but wants to be Scottish. No, he's Scottish. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll appreciate that. Yep. <laughs> so, you know, and uh, we don't discourage anyone from, uh, uh, you know, being a part of us, regardless of where they're from. I just, I know they're six hours ahead of our time, and we race seven in the evening, or eight in the evening, my time, I should say, which I'm I'm central. So, you know, that's kind of tough on somebody that's six hours ahead to get up in the middle of the night and race. So it's, uh, and, then, and then there's plenty of race groups out there, but uh, uh, yeah, there was, a, there was a, a, a small portion of us that came from another group that was founded and ran by people from over in the UK, and it was tough to match up times to race with them guys. Mm -hmm. And so this worked out much better for us on our schedules and our times uh, to be a part of this group because it's we're all you know a lot of us in different time zones but we're similar times. And it's great because you know some people who are coming in and they're you know they're not sure about how to tune a car or how fast right. they are. I mean this this whole group is always about helping each other and yeah get We've better and better. About that. Yeah, yeah, that's it, you know here's the, the thing I like about it is and I've said it a million times and. A lot of, lots of other people have said it. We help each other to get each other faster so that it's tighter, better racing, and which is more fun. Yeah. I would much rather get out on the track and battle somebody for 40 minutes than spend 40 minutes kind of alone like I did in this race. <laughs> yeah, yeah, where we and you battled for at least a good 20-something minutes at Interlagos, and that was yeah. just like, you know, your your nerves are going, your hands are shaking, because yep. you've just been, you're just on it, so it's yeah. it's much more fun, for sure. Much more fun. Much so, more fun. Yeah, so the, and we've <clears> done various <throat> things to try to equalize the group, uh, you know, some of us have a, more experience than others, and so we've, you know, put handicaps on the more experienced people, and, and that's helped equalize things. Uh, a lot, uh, but um, you know, I think overall the group has gotten tighter and better in the four years 
top to bottom. Yeah, because back in the day, we used to have Group A and Group B. So Group A was yeah. always the faster guys, and Group B were they were fast, but they weren't nearly as quick. But, yeah. I mean, now having us all together, it's better to get on a grid with, you know, 13, 14 drivers than get on a grid with six. So yeah. it's like, let's go. Let's have some fun, you know, and always help exactly. each other out. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, we, and, we and have, a lot of the not guys too serious. That, yeah, and a lot of the guys that were new, or not new to the, the race, but new to the group in the beginning, they didn't know how to tune. They didn't like to tune because it was, you know, they just didn't know how to do it. So we did a lot of BOP in the beginning. Mm. And then we gradually, we'd throw in an occasional tune, we'd help them with tunes, we'd give them tunes, explain things to them, and, and gradually as we've gone along now, I think the vast majority like the tune. Not everybody does, yep. but I think the vast majority like to, to run tune. So, uh, And what I mean by that is that you actually physically go into a, a page and you tune your suspension, uh, spring rates and, and uh, dampenings and cambers and all that so it you make the car um better suited for your driving style yeah exactly exactly yeah <clears throat> okay war well, i'm sorry stapler do you want to read off the grid who we got tonight sure will starting on pole is bionic thumbs and alexis also known as squints as you will hear me call him during the race <laughs> second is the uh, handsomest guy in the league stapler and <laughs> Uh, in, in, it, in his own mind, <laughs> and, and I've heard I've heard that very much so on the face of the radio. Um, the CBI came in Austin Martin in third place, uh, starting third. Four uh, Ward himself in the Corvette. Five is Mr. Cone Killer in the AMG. Six is Slow in his Hyundai. Seven is the Irish Scottishman Jay in his Austin Martin. Eight is Curtis Breaking Bad in number eight. Number nine is uh, Lexus with Mr. Hump. Ten, we have um, a mid-engine sister car, Judge, represent. Uh, Eleven is Mr. Archer in his Jaguar. Uh, Twelve is my mid-engine uh, buddy as well, Teddy. And the Audi, thirteen, Jax in the Lexus. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, unfortunately, Jax couldn't, uh, strange in the game, he couldn't get out of the pits for the qualifying. So it, it's automatically started him from the back. So <clears throat> excuse me, he would normally be in probably six or seven with, with the, the mid-pack kind of thing. So weird glitch in the game. It happens. So It does. Um, yeah. What did we say, Ward? This was about 24 laps, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah 23, 24. So, okay, we're going to kick it off here. This is the GTCA GR3 Series race number three at Watkins Glen. Here we go. Three, two, one. And there they go. Turn one. Yep. And we had a few little bumps and bruises here but nothing major thankfully uh, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. and everybody made it through relatively clean no damage yep and it looks like we're coming up the hill through these s's it looks like it pretty good okay i'm gonna go on slow here watch this going to the bus stop i'm behind him for six seven Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Watch this! Watch this! Oh my god! And of course, me and Cone, so five and six come around, <laughs> and I, I lose Cone in the back there. I'm like, yes, he's blocked, <laughs> but not for long. Cone takes it in two corners. Uh, so he takes over slow there for I want to say that's seven. Yeah. Yep, seventh place. Seventh place. Yeah, and then he takes Archer, I think, on the inside here. Yeah, for six. Yeah. If you replay that a, a, a hundred times in oops, a little loose there, but if you play replay that a hundred times, I think ninety nine times there's a wreck there. That's, that was really. <laughs> oh, easy. Yeah. I can't. I said the word. I can't believe he didn't bowl, bowling pin anyone off. Like, yeah. oh, Lord. <laughs> I, you know, and I've been there and done that. You just forget to break. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just a little too intense. Yeah. All right, up, up here for one, two, three. So we got squints in the front here on bionic thumbs. Coming around the last bend before the straight. Oh yeah, you're right up there. We're with them, not far behind. And there's myself. No. There's there's uh, 
about a one, little over one second gap, if I remember right. I was always right in there up until the point that I messed up. Oh, okay. Oh, Teddy's in the pits. Something must have happened to him. Uh. He's got bumper damage. I'm not yep. sure what happened. Must have hit a wall or something, yeah. Right. And not seeing any uh, rear bumpers with damage, so he evidently didn't hit anybody. Or if he did, it didn't give them damage. Right. Oh, and Archer got a 1.5 penalty. Yikes. Oh, when he goes right over the, uh, the apex there on the turn. Oh, and so does Slow. They both got 1.5s. Yikes. That's for uh, that, position 7 and 9. Both penalties. That chicane, that chicane was nasty. It's, it's, yeah. it's such a fine line to run. Yep. When you hit it, it's it's fun, and it, when you hit it right, it's, it's good, good, but... It, one little bobble the wrong way, and you've got a penalty. I, it's it'll, it'll nail you. Yeah. All right, up here for one, two, three. Yeah, you're right up there, where with them. Not far at all. I've got Cone breathing on me for five, six. This He's section right through here, I I had trouble staying with them, but everywhere else I did okay. I. That, that turn, not this one we just had, but the one before that, that yep. lefty. Yep. I have struggled with it in practice. Really? It was tough. Yeah. What, what gear were you going? I know I was going from four to two to hug the well, corner. I, I, I was, I would, you know, probably do two normally. Yeah. But if I tried to accelerate coming out of there in two, it just spun. So I had to bump it up to three and really go low RPM and kind of kill my torque and power to come out of that. That's how I got my faster times doing it that way, but I hated it, you know. But it's exactly. also beneficial. It helped me save fuel. Well, we got a little battle here on 8-9. Slows right on the bumper of Archer coming through the turn. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he takes him on the inside or not, or does Archer take it? He's oh, looking, he's oh. Looking. yeah, well, that's oh. dodgy. Woof. <laughs> <laughs> nice pass. Very. <laughs> Yeah, very. Right. Yeah, I, yeah. Some, I tried it once in this race, spoiler, and it um, almost ended in disaster. So, yeah, that's a tough, tough place to pass. Yeah, not always advisable to take a risk like that either, because you never know when somebody is concentrating on that corner and they don't see you coming. Exactly, it could be a bump, and then you're off the grass, and it could be a nightmare. It could end up taking both of you out. Yeah. Go up through one through four. Yeah, you guys are nicely evenly spaced. I was, I was holding my own. Like I said, I don't think yep. it had been nope. any way I'd ever passed anybody, but I could. I was keeping up with them. Yeah, exactly. And the issue I was having through here was going, kind of catch bionic thumbs. I didn't have much in the way of downforce. I was concentrating more on the top speed. Third time I would get behind him in dirty air, the news of the car would just go. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I'm in the cockpit of Cohen on my back bumper here because he's got me on the straightaway. But I think I hold him up for one or two corners. Yeah, cut him there. Whoops. Hmm. His car is quick. I mean, I was pulling consistence mm -hmm. 144s, a couple 143s. He was, you know, 142, 142, 141, 142. I mean, he, he's got that car dialed in. Oh, we got a battle for 10 and 11. We got a Judge making a pass on Jax. On the main street. Oh, and he does he take it? He does for 10. Judge. Yes. Nice pass. Oh, go a little bit wide though. Oh. Saved it. Oh, coming yes. around the turn. Can he? Yep. These are some great turns for battles too. Good overtaking left and right you can do. Oh, poor Teddy. He's got damage again. Uh, Lots of it. Oh, he's got mag damage. Yeah. That's a nice livery, though. I like that Rolex. Oh, yeah. yeah. Looks good. <laughs> oh, man. What did he hit? Everything's blinking. Know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Christmas tree out there. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, just blinking away. It's a gorgeous, it's a gorgeous livery. Absolutely. Yeah. 
what did you say last week, Stapler? I asked you, and you said, uh, I said, oh, did you, did you make that? You said, oh, I borrowed it. <laughs> yes, like that. you borrow it, yeah. You borrow it, yeah. There's no intentions of returning, right? <laughs> yeah. It's on layaway, but not really layaway. Just take... And Cone got a he got a two second penalty, so there was a gap there for me, and I was like, "Oh, phew, right on, I'm good." Got a bit of a bit of bit of breathing space from him now. It takes one lap before he's back on me, and I'm like, <laughs> "Damn it, <laughs> that car's too quick." Would you just go somewhere? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. We just go away. <laughs> just give me fifth place, please. It's a really tight battle back here for 10, 11, 12. Their news. Oh yeah. Them. Yeah, yeah, we've got Judge and Jackson Hump. I had a chance to really sit down and talk to Hump uh, the other day, the one on one. He's a really good guy. He oh, really he is. is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he's, oh, he, he's he was a little late oh. on breaking maybe, but he pulled it off. Yeah. Maybe that was his normal break, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see you next lap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, he's super genuine, really. We really enjoyed having him in the, in the in the 2021 season, for sure. Yeah. And he's quick. I mean, once he gets the the seat time, I mean, he's good. Yeah. Yes. Hey. They're good. All right. He's gonna check on one, two, three, and see how things are looking at the front. About the same. Yeah. Pretty, pretty close to the same. Look at the tire wear difference between Squints, Stapler, and, and Cayman. So Bionic, is, a.k.a. Squints, and Cayman are both on sticks, so controller, and Stapler is on a, a, a rig. Look at the difference in the tire wear. Wow. And I'm usually harder on tires, but I managed to really dial this course in and really not drive too aggressive to conserve tires. Mm -hmm. Surprised myself here. All right, go to P4. Yep, got you. Yep. Nice. Where, where I cut the corner a little too much. Oh. Yeah, a little bit of a difference it makes. Boom, right there. Yep, it almost sent you. Yep. Oh, yeah, my there's, God. There's, there's my penalty. Oh. oh, just for that. Just for that. Wow. God, yeah, that's... That's yeah, risk reward. Unfortunately, but this <laughs> just think the wow. risk is the uh, punishment is too harsh here. <laughs> yeah, that's like, a little heavy, eh? Oh. You got like you got a life sentence for stealing a candy bar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And there's uh, Cone sneaking up on Curtis oh, in fifth place. Uh, yeah, Archer must have done the same thing. He's got a two second belt. Oh, has he now? Yeah. I think this is where Cone takes me. Actually, yeah, he's got a good run off this turn here up. And run the bumper, and I don't see him, so I do feel a little bit of a bump on the inside. I want to say, yeah, here is where he goes, and uh, yeah, and just a little nudge. Whoopsies, you know, I feel him on the kick. I'll just stick Ooh. here, but I try to, I try to hang on as fast as possible. I mean, like I'm not letting you go just yet. So, yeah, he's another one of those that's not afraid to go on that inside at the nope. last second. Uh, no, nope, exactly. I, I'm not comfortable doing that. I, yeah, I'm pretty much one to back off just in case I do wreck myself and the other guy until I know rather, if it's really clear. I'd rather try to set up a pass another way. But yeah. Sometimes you just can't. Alright, let's see here. I think, um... Let me see where I am. Go up to... Go up to back to one one and two real quick. Okay. I think this... This is a... Yep, one and two. Battle for lead. Oh, here we go. Coming down the straight. Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, that's tight. Yep. Now, were you guys on headsets saying I'm on the I'm on the right side or just kind of off no, off no. talking? No, we were. No, I was off. I would leave the chat now. Yep. I realized going in there it wasn't going to work, and I tried to abort, and I was a little late. But luckily, we got through there. Never touch each other. So. Yep. And then, well, but that's unfortunately, good. that pool came in right on my rear end. Oh, that came in, kid. God. Yeah, that guy. That guy. <laughs> <sighs> I, I was the whole time after the, the after my penalty. I was thinking, well, if the three of you would really just start mixing it up, that would slow you down. I might be able to catch up. It wasn't. Yeah, yeah it wasn't going to be much longer. If you would have battled, you would have caught us. It, it yeah. only took. He was a, was a second and a half gap, and came and closed that to half second for that little best up that we did. And Cameron just took all four wheels off there. I wonder if you got a penalty coming up. I don't think so. 
No, let's see, I did like, on, on the very last lap. I did the same thing and got a second and a half penalty. No way. Yeah. I guess the guys with controllers have it rigged somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Squints has been sharing those cheat codes. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, Cayman actually, he was a little bit slower in practice. He picked up a very, very good four, three and four tenths of a second yeah. on these uh, in this race. And, um, he did. Yeah, he was he was super quick. I was a little worried. I was I was watching Squints in front of me and looking at it with one eye, and the other eye was in my rearview mirror looking at that uh, that Aston coming up my rear end. I was like, ooh, this is not going to end well. Mm, we got for seven and eight. We got uh, Jay on slow here. So it's got the Genesis versus the Aston. I mean, and Slow's car is fast. We did a Mach 20, and he was consistent 1 143 and a half, 143.4. And he was a second and a half. It was a second faster than me every single lap. So, I think it's just by luck at this race he actually went off and I got by him. Because I think if he was ahead of me, he would have been with Cone. He'd, those two would have been battling for position for sure. Cone's got some good times there. Yeah, look at that, 142s. I mean, just three yeah. in a row, three in a row. And I'm 144, I got 143.4 there, that's my fastest, but that's 144. Like Archer just you got a two and a half second penalty back in oh, the 10th. Oh, wow. 10th? Mm -hmm. Archer, what happened, buddy? You look at my <clears throat> laps here, and I'm all 142s with the exception of my penalty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the 145 was the penalty, yep. Yeah. But yeah, 142 consistent with your word. Yeah. Cayman's really consistent. And yes. And yeah. All, yeah. Th all three of you guys up front were really consistent. And we're all bunched together now. I'm on the back of uh, Bionic's wing. Following you guys in reverse. That looks pretty cool. Bit of the draft yeah, I, there, stapler. Oh, I yeah. Get, I get another run here, and I thought better of it. <laughs> yeah, his tire wear is quite a bit more than yours. Yeah, I was going through looking at some tire wear. I've, I think I actually, for the first time in my history of this, I had great tire wear. Oh, Cone's got a one and a half second penalty. Oh, Cone did? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, slow and Jay yeah. and Archer, I think, had some pretty gnarly tire wear at this point. Yeah, I think this is where I actually caught up with him a little bit. 1.5. He must have been furious. Yeah, okay, I see him slowing down, okay. And if you notice, he pulls to the side. It's just kind of a gentleman's thing to do, yep. just pull over to the side, take your penalty, not interfere with any other drivers. Yeah, yep. stay out of the racing line. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It doesn't matter if you're ghosted or not, you just get out of the way. That yeah. Way, no problems. It's good sportsmanship there. Yep. yep. Oh yeah, it just slows tire wear. He's he's really pushing that. Oh, Holy Teddy's smokes! coming out of pits now. Got his damage fixed. Heading out of there. Now you're catching a little bit closer to uh, to Squints there. Oh, you look at the difference in their top end. Their papers going to catch you. He was really good through the chicane, and I was afraid to push it because um, I would get a little loose in practice. I could catch him on the straights, but that he was just, it was like we were flip flopping. I'd gain a half, almost four tenths of a second on yep. the straights, and he would get four tenths of a second in the chicane, so it was just washing each other out. Yeah. That's the way it was with Cayman. When I, I'd catch, because I had a higher top end, you know, I'd catch him on the straight, get through the curves, and pull it back out.
Oh, relatively. Look out the field. There's everybody's still pretty bunched up. Yeah. We've got a gap here and there, but for the most part, we're not bad at all. No. Yeah. I, you know, I can remember when the league first started the, that first year, uh, we'd have races like this and top four, if three or four P, uh, racer cars would lap everybody by now. And gotten that much tighter. Yeah, I exactly. Think only, yeah. I think we only had one or two lap cars, I think. In the whole race. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, with Teddy and uh, maybe Jax, I think. Yeah, the blue flags are out for Teddy because you got Jay for 8th coming up on him. And Teddy's in 13th, so yeah. Yeah, Teddy just I, he had too much damage throughout the race. He had to go in and get repaired and kill you. Have to move that. A little bit of slide there. Gets out of the way so uh, Jay can get by. My tire wear was not good on this track. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, getting there for sure. We're coming on uh, lap 11 here, so the pits are going to happen pretty soon. I believe next time around. Yeah, I think I came at the end of 12 for me and Cone. Just trying to keep I up with him. That's what I did in 12, if I remember right. I think the top three, though... I think all the top four, in fact, I think we all pitted on the same lap. If I yeah, remember. oh, I bet, yeah. Oh, and Jay goes off for eighth. He comes back on. He's got front rear damage, or front damage now. Well, that's fortunate it's <clears throat> close to the pit stops for him. Yeah, yeah. Another driver that drives on controller, too. So we've got Judge in nine and Humps coming up in ten on him. Where did Archer go? He's and in twelve. The Archer is right there, and he's got some damage. I uh, I need blinker for fuel, so I wonder what he hit. Okay, pits. Let's see next time around. Sorry. Yeah, probably next time, right? Yeah. Yeah, look at the tire wear on uh, on the front three. Yeah, getting worn. But but Staple, you got the best tire wear easily. Yeah. Yep. But again, that's rig versus controller, so. Mm -hmm. My, my rears would eat up faster than my fronts. And you're pulling a little bit away from Stapler, or from, away from Cayman, sorry, because you were a little bit closer was, to him. I think he was fuel saving a little bit. Yeah, oh, probably. He was, yeah. yeah, he's. if you look at his fuel, it's low. Yeah. Flashing yeah, at him for a while. Yeah. Cayman doesn't, like to, Cayman doesn't like to try and fuel save. <laughs> no. It's, uh, it's, it's accelerate, 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 so... He is wicked fast, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think I think if it wasn't for that fuel issue, I think if he would have been able to squeeze out one more lap, Archer and Jay in the pit, um, he would have he would have been right up with us. One, two, three, right there. All right, coming. Almost in the pits here. Yeah, I see that's that uh, turn you have a hard time with Ward. I get it. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, came in a little wide there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, pit stops coming in here. Now, let me ask. See, is the squint? Oh, they stay out with you guys. Oh, oh, oh my God! He just holy! Did you see <laughs> Squint hit did the he, wall coming he, in? Yeah. I thought he, he had damage. He went wide and then swung in right. I was like, "Oh, you going out for another lap?" No, I'm gonna just swing it in. Okay. So here's where the gas comes right. into play. Who can get out first? Yeah, he's going to get out first. All down to the pit crew at this point. A year out, looks like ahead. Coming out in one, it says. And everyone's coming in, as you can Just see. We got watch, everyone's coming in. Watch this exit. Watch this exit. Yep. For, uh, oh, now it says Combs. Well, hang on. Stapler, okay. Ho oh, ho ho ho! One and two. <laughs> Look at that. Holy! Yeah. But there's where your gas saving come in. You know, you had more gas mm -hmm. than everyone, so yeah, that exactly that's right. the makes a difference. So. And then with that straight line speed, I was able to give some distance here. I'm trying to break the draft a little bit. Yeah. Oh, and 
Oh, this, see, or, um, oh, squints almost oh, goes a little bit wide, almost. Yes, yes, and this is, he was attacking a lot. Yeah, oh, I bet. couple laps. Yeah, he's pushing. He was. Oh, all right. Hey, Michael, M Mr. Hump's in fifth place here. Is he? Yeah, he, he's he not pitted him. yet. Oh, the yeah, no, head. not yet. He had a great run. Mm -hmm. Oh, Archer with a two-second penalty. Again. Back in 12. Yes, again. Somebody what didn't is... practice. No, exactly. Get on the track <laughs> with us. Get on track. No, blue flags are up for some reason. Someone's going to be getting lapped. Looks like everyone's coming to the pit except for... Oh, yeah, there's the two-second penalty, yeah. I wonder. Look at Teddy's gas tank. That's strange. Look at Teddy's, Teddy's tank. Did he take enough fuel for this? I don't think he did. Mm, no. I mean, that's... He's either going to run out there. You got another almost nine laps to go. I don't think that's going to carry you. Yeah. Think so either. He was a gentleman here, and got when I got close enough, he pulled over and let me pass. Oh yeah. Hump in the pits here. Oh, finally making it in, eh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's got to be a penalty for Tenny. He went right over the rail. Uh -huh. Jay's got a one-second penalty. And that's one thing, you can practice all you want on this track and get to it, but when it comes to race day and you, you get penalties, that's, there, there, there goes uh, your placement. Yeah. Yeah. So this is where we, me, me and Bionic start spreading out a little bit with Kim. I think Kamen had a slower pit stop. I think he had a... Yeah, uh, he's a, just a little bit more behind you, for sure. He had, yeah, he had, he had to make sure he took 100% fuel in there. Yeah, I think the majority of people, oh, even you didn't yeah, take 100%. Did. I took a hundred percent. Yeah, no, I, I I worked it out. I could take twelve laps of fuel, which is like ninety three percent. Yeah, and that that won me the race. That little, you know, if I would have taken the extra little bit, we would have. I probably would have came out behind Squints or Vonix. Yeah, I'm glad I did take a hundred because I had uh, slow on me in the last five laps, and I thought if I didn't have that extra, like Ward and I talked about last time, always take a little bit extra if you're going to be battling, because if you don't take it, you're going to be out. So. Mm -hmm. I'm back here in eight and nine watching um judge is starting to close the, the gap on um hump here oh yeah here we go yeah hump and judge yep and when you decide a judge's car here i like the way this renault sounds So for people that are watching this, uh, if you know Judge, his name is Scott. He actually drives he drives truck for a living, right? Is it like uh Yeah. Yeah, and he <laughs> he actually has a sim rig in his in his truck and the passenger side. So he has one at the house and then when he's working and we and he's on the road and we have race day, he'll pull over and uh, he'll move to his passenger side, hook up the uh, that rig there and 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 race from <laughs> from from his truck which is a riot to see squints is attacking me now on first oh yeah here we go we're one and two yeah you almost said that like you felt violated or something he was violating me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goose, his breaking point was a lot later than mine, and I, um, 
he worried me a few times. My indicators would be going off that I had a car next to me. <laughs> I'm like, what, what? And he was right there on my rear corner panel. <laughs> he never really goes away anyways. <laughs> no. Nope. Start really spread out here now. Oh, 141. Is that who got the fast time? Okay, Swin said, yeah, 141.9. Yeah. And he's. I think he gets faster. Never known him to get faster. <laughs> he was. I mean, I was running low, like 141. Oh, he sevens. almost bit it there in the corner. Whoa. Oh. Slid around there. I mean, he recovered it well. Yep. He's. I was running 141 sevens in practice consistently. Yeah. And it's different to get the race day, the nerves kick in, and you're trying to be more consistent and not, you know, not wreck because you don't get that do over. And um, he was starting to pump out some really fast laps. I was getting worried. That's crazy. Yeah, let's put the fastest lap of the race up there. Oh yeah, 140, 141.8 seeps. Wow. Nice. It doesn't last long, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got a battle back in... Where do I see something? Oh, that's so judging... Judging uh, Mike at eight and nine are still going pretty pretty close. Looks and look, like at, even look at it, uh, at Hump's times in one forty four, one forty four, one forty four. So yeah, he's consistent for sure. And uh, got you and uh, oh slow, and slow, getting closer here. Yeah, I'm trying to. He's, I mean, he's quick in that car. I mean, uh, I'm 144s, he's 143s, okay, so... But no, he was gaining for sure, and I was trying to wean him off. The last four laps, five laps were pretty, pretty damn close in certain areas, for sure. Yeah, he's catching. Yeah, this is Squint's fast lap right now, I believe. Let's see what he gets. Because I think I had a close to a one second gap going to the chicane, and he's he closed in that fast. Oh, okay, gotcha. One six. Oh, one forty one six. Wow. So, what was your fastest uh, lap in practice, Safeway? One forty one three. On yeah, my racing I, setup. I, the night before the race, I believe it was, we were practicing, and he got a 141.1. He squints? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. He got a 141.1? Yeah, I practiced. Yeah. Holy. That was, he did that in qualifying, too. Did he? Mm -hmm. I had a 140 in me, but I just couldn't put who's inside. Just squints. Oh. He's really, really attacking hard. Oh. I just couldn't put it put it put it all together. But still, the 141 one is nuts. That's crazy. On medium uh, tires too. Yes. And Teddy's got a half second penalty right now. Ah. Uh, hey. Yeah. He's almost down to a quarter tank. That Teddy. Yeah, yeah, I think he is not going to have enough. No way. Yeah, half second penalty there. It's lap 17. We got at least another seven to go. No way he'll pick it. Oh, Lap's got a bunch of. Pulled away from slow a little bit here, Ernie. Yeah, I tried. He hit the wall coming up 
on the last lap. Oh. He just he he didn't hit it hard. He just kind of gra- his car went wide a little bit and just kind of grazed mm-hmm. it. Yeah. So I got a little bit to get ahead. He would keep close with me for the majority of the track, and then on the straightaways I could pull away. Ah, uh, okay. I see he's catching, catching. I think up here in the turn, I'm looking at the tire wear difference between the two of us. It's not too bad, but I still got a little bit better. Cone was doing his best to try to catch me over here. Yeah, exactly. So can he? So we're both. So yeah, I can see he's he's not too far from you, no. but he's got a lot of ground to make up. Yeah. I couldn't believe he was. He had a two-second penalty, and I was like, "Yay, whatever!" And uh, in one lap, he was. R- I looked at my rearview, and he was right on there. I'm like, "Jesus, yeah. that car's quick. Fast. He is fast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he is." Everybody's really fast in this group. It's it's yeah. Not Everyone always gets bad. better. Yeah. Yeah, slows right on your bumper right there. Seven yeah. eight. There, sounds yeah. six seven. Yeah. I'm thinking. Come on, five more laps. Five more laps. <laughs> and I think this is. And I started opening up on squints a little bit here, but uh, I think is I think he started had to conserve fuel. Oh, so he hit the wall there for seven. Okay, I'm going to go up to one, two. So, yeah. Uh, he's got a quite a bit more tire wear. Than- yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at the look at the front and left compared to you both. Yeah. My fastest lap of the race right there. That's what you got. Well, that's, that's a pretty fast lap. Yeah. That's the fastest I, you know. Oh, 142.2. Yeah, wow. I had a 42.2 several times in practice, but I couldn't get any faster. Now, how far was Kamen away from you guys? You guys are pretty much neck and neck. Yeah, he's a little bit behind. About mm-hmm. three, four seconds. I think he had a fuel save. Yeah. There, I take it back. There was my fastest lap right there. 14, 14. Oh, there we go. Yeah, one four two two one four. Yeah. But I think it went downhill from there. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, you got uh, where you are in the map. You got no one around you. You're just cruising. Same with Cone. Yeah. He's just cruising. Yeah. Yeah. And I hate to say, it, once you get in the no man's land where you're running away from the guy behind you and the guys in front of you are pulling away you can just kind of go into conservation mode yep yeah well yeah. you know you just at that point i was thinking okay just take exactly you keep your spot and mistake. you have to want to make an advance it's going to be somebody else make a mistake not you can't catch him Ooh, jackson has hit the wall in 10th place jeez yeah came off that corner a little hot Putting a gap on squints now. Yeah. Those are the words you don't Teddy just came out of the pits, about. so he must have had to put more mm-hmm. gas in. Yeah. Yes. Steep, you got it. Yeah, you got a nice little, little bit of a stretch come. Yeah. That's good. And I think, uh, I think it's the next lap. Mm, coming up on Jax here. 
Oh yeah. Random star. Jay. Archer. Archer, yeah. And this one uh, scared me a little bit here. I'll, I'll tell you why after it happens. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, all good. I yeah. thought he was wrecking, and I thought he was going to cut back in front of me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I thought he was getting sideways, and I went, oh, crap, but he was doing that, right? <laughs> yeah, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Yeah. And he was just being a gentleman and getting out of the way. He was. Yep. He was. If he was in the chat, if I was in the chat with him, he probably would have told me he's moving over, but... Oh, it's got a one-second penalty. Oh, that's what happened, yeah. And it's not a true one second penalty. It's a one second plus the slowdown. Mm -hmm. And the speed back up. So exactly. Yeah. That's, that's something like three it. seconds almost. Yes. You yes. know, I was about a second and probably no more than a second and a half behind Eamon when I got that two second penalty. And when it was over with, I was eight seconds behind. Mm -hmm. You know, so it costs more than it, than it give you. Yep. Look at Judge's time, man. He's consistent. All pretty much 144s. Wow. Really well. And yeah, I don't good. think he had much time no. in the car. I know he wanted the livery. <laughs> he took the car because he had livery for the car. That's why. <laughs> oh. That's a cool livery. I will be more than happy to give him my setup for uh, Trout Mountain next week. So I got to remember to send it to him. Doing pretty good in eighth spot right now. Teddy got another penalty for another half second. Mm. Oh, is still hanging with you there, Curtis. Oh, he's still on me. Yeah, he's, he's still there. He's still lurking. A little bit, a little bit further back, which is good. Like I said, the straightaways I can I could pull away from him, but sometimes some of the turns he would dive down, and he'd be, next thing you know, he's right there. We two have had a nice little rivalry this yep. rivalry this series. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. You guys have been fighting in every race. Those fellow Canadians, the fellow Canadian thing. Get a little Canadian oh, came, rival. Uh, came and got a three-second penalty. <gasps> Whoa, really? What did you mm -hmm. do? Oh, three mm. seconds, dude. He looked at the chicane the wrong way, I guess. Oh. Wow. This should be the final lap coming up. Coming up here. I, yeah, a lot of the field didn't take the white flag. Yeah, it's slow, s still catching. There's my one and a half second yeah. out on the last lap. Was that taking the corner wrong or just? That I went off the over, went too mm. out, far out. Uh, all four tires off. All four tires see, off. Yeah. See, so that was attacking there. Let's see, does can he close the gap here? And Look at I yeah. Didn't, I didn't get another lap by about three seconds. No. That's the only the. Uh, let's see where slow is or staplers is. Okay, you got that left to go. Oh, and so pick finished for fourth. Yep. Cone for five. Yeah, and then yeah, I come across at six. It's, Oh, and Slow got a one second penalty. Yeah, okay. So I'm six and Slow seven. And Mr. Humphrey will come across for eight. And Judge comes across for nine. Jackson J for 10 and 11 coming down. You got P1 coming around the bend with the last set of turn. Oh, yeah. Oh. Too far behind? No, not at all. Oh, look at your gas. Yeah, just blinking. Mm. And, and, and uh, Squints is out of gas. Oh, there's the big W for a stapler. Congratulations. 
Yep. And Squints nice. has no gas. Look at that crossing, no gas. <laughs> I did run out of gas. Yep. <laughs> And it smells the and blood. Came in the, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I can imagine. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Archer there in 12. And that's our race. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Very good. Good time was had by all. Yeah. Yes. Had yeah, some good challenges and uh, not too many hiccups. Lots of penalties for some reason, yeah. Well, but, it's just a race. It's a track that gives them out. I mean, yeah. Like we talked at the beginning, there's a lot of elevation change. There's... A lot of places that you got to be on point with braking, got to be on point mm -hmm. with acceleration. You got to turn in the right time. To, you know, it's it's a tough track. Yeah, it is. I can't believe they gave a two second penalty. Think they gave given that one. I'm like, holy smoke, that's a little. I think I think a little it, aggressive. I think it gauges your how much you cut the corner and then how much you gain by that. Yes, yeah, I think it's, I think, I think and it's, it's, yeah, it's harsh. And, yeah. But the uh, but the track to me, I this car. The Vernault's a little more geared towards this, and I was able to get away from the straights. But there was a lot of fast cars, a lot of white knuckle racing, and um, a lot of good clean racing this week. I was very happy mm -hmm. um, to see the replay. It was, uh, yeah, all around. It's good. Through 13, yeah. I always find turn one when it is so tricky to take when your tires get worn because you don't want to slide over, <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden here comes a penalty. You just got to brake a little bit earlier and dive down to the right a little bit more. So. Yes. But, the one that was getting me was that hairpin when you right towards the back straight. Yeah. It goes up the hill. That yeah. one always gets my car a little squirrely. It's a, you're really afraid to hit that gas, but if you get on this gas early in this in this track, you can really make time up. I think I was a second faster. If I could get on the gas and be confident, I can get out of the corner. Um, but shouldn't happen very often. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got one more to go, so it'll be uh, Trial Mountain next Tuesday. Um, and that this that will be the end of the of the GR3 series. Uh, we'll broadcast that most likely on the Wednesday again. Take um, a couple of weeks off and come back and hit the number a group two. Yeah, we're in the GR2s next time, right? So yep. Yep. Um, we'll start tuning and practicing and get week for that. That will be a four week series as well. And then we'll do the GR1s, and then I think we finale out with the SF19 Formula Ones. So, which would be a hoot. Well, loads of fun. All right, well, thanks, everyone, for watching. This was race number three, the GR3 at Watkins Glen, and we will see you next week for the finale at Trial Mountain. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. See you later.